my name is Evan, uh, but not like the other Evan, so lower your expectations a lot. Everything he just said was made up. I have nothing interesting to say. Um, I'm here to talk about a new router, though. Um, how many people have used View Router before? Everybody? Okay. I have too. I've used it a lot. Um, I like it a lot. But a buddy of mine and I decided that it might be fun to make our own router. So we did. Um, it's called Kitbag Router, which you can see here. Um, and I just got, I got a couple quick slides that I want to show you, and then I'm going to get into VS Code and give you a little demo. I just want to talk about like why we did it, what kind of things we set out to accomplish, and then, yeah, just give you a demo. All right, so motivation. Above all, type safety. Uh, I think that's probably relevant to a lot of people. But we've seen different implementations of trying to add type safety to View Router, um, different ways of accomplishing that. That was probably one of the biggest motivations. Uh, we've probably seen a lot of times people route by just a path, which is the worst case scenario, I think. Better is that you're routing with magic strings, which is the second example. Um, and best case scenario, it would know. Your IDE would tell you what routes you can go to and what routes don't exist. Um, hopefully, if you're using TypeScript, I don't have to convince you on why that's useful. Um, the other thing that we wanted to accomplish is to support query, having params in the query, treating params the same whether they're in the path or they're in the query. All right, so in addition to those like fundamental goals, we thought it would be really cool to support types for params that are not just string. So defining your params as being a number, a Boolean, you can define them as regex or literally whatever other type you want. We give you types to define your own pro, uh, param types. And then it will actually use that when matching a route. So if you try to go to a route, but the param type doesn't satisfy you know, your union of strings or something, it won't be considered a match, and the router will go to like the next best match, which is great. And then when you get to your component, your component will know that when it accesses the param, it's already of the correct type. If that, if that component loaded, it means that it passed the param validation that you set up, kind of like a type guard, if you're familiar with writing a type guard. It's like a type guard on your route. Um, the other thing that's really cool that I want to talk about is rejection handling. So this is just the concept of anywhere in your app, you could just say that you, you want to trigger a rejection. By default, it ships with a not found rejection, uh, which is probably what most people are going to ever need is not found. Anytime that the router can't find a match for the current URL, it'll throw a, a not found rejection and it'll render whatever component you say should be applied to that rejection. But you can extend that. You can make whatever rejections you want. You could say, uh, you could have an auth required. Uh, you know, you could, you could hide certain routes based on whether or not the user is authenticated. And then, you know, from a, a before route enter, you could, before route enter hook, you could throw that rejection if they're not authenticated. And you've got like that. The router is going to take care of handling rejections for you. All right, so I'm going to get into the demo real quick. Hopefully, this goes smoothly. Um, Kitbag.dev is where you can find more information. You can join our Slack and post questions. Um, I've also got like the demo I'm going to show you is on. There's a link to it. There's a stack blitz. So check it out. I would appreciate it. Uh, we'll be hanging out. So if you want to ask us questions in person, that'd be cool too. All right. How's that? That's still really small. That seems... Does everybody see that okay? Okay. All right, so this is what the index.ts looks like for the router. This is probably relatively familiar if you're, like everybody said, a lot of people use view router. Uh, you define your routes, and then you export your, you call create router, and you pass in those routes. The thing that I want to show you first is how you define params. So here I have a path uh, that's just slash for home, but I could add a param. We'll just call it foo. And if I hit save, you can see I already got a TypeScript error here because I, I've got this link navigations at the top, and it's trying to go to my home route, which is not supposed to have this yet. And you can see that it's upset with me because I haven't defined home without params. So it thinks it's a, it's a URL. So I could give it a URL to make it happy, or I can also just make it optional. And you'll see that now that error will go away. 
it's happy now to like resolve that route, trying to go to home without any params. But if I wanted to pass params here, the syntax looks like this. You can see that it's giving me IntelliSense for adding my param, and now it's happy. Uh, the other cool thing that I want to show you is changing the type. So by default, if you just provide it as a string, it will assume that your params are all strings. But I can wrap this in a path function, and then it will ask for a type. So for that argument, or for that param, I can say that I expect it to be a number. And now when I hit save, again, we get an error because I'm, the thing that I'm passing is not a number, so it's, it's failing. I can fix that by passing it a number. And this is where I could define any other of my custom types. Whatever I want to define here, I could define here. Um, the other cool thing is everything I just described for, for params in a path also applies to params in a query. So you can see here I've got this query string with a search param in it, which in this case is just an optional string. And then down here I have another one that is using a... So query is the same as path, it's just it interpolates the string differently. And then this is what, how, how, how you can define like a, a custom param based on this type that I've set up. So you can imagine like a query string that's going to store whether you're sorting ascending or descending. This is a, a param, custom param that's going to validate that the value isn't just any string, it's a, it's either, it's a union of those two strings. So that is that is the end of my demo. There's a lot of other stuff I'd like to show you, but I'm limited on time. So come find us. I'd love to talk more about it. Check out our check out our stack blitz. And uh, yeah, thank you very much.